are LMTV, Lynn Mar Television, now in our 10th year of award-winning broadcast excellence. Lynn Mar, your news starts now. Happy Halloween, Lynn Mar. It's Wednesday, October 31st, 2012. Here's a look at the stories making news on your LM campus. Our top story. Be a witness to history. The official groundbreaking for the new Limar Aquatic Center is this morning at 11.30. The event will take place next to the parking lot behind the stadium. Everyone is welcome. Watch for complete coverage tomorrow here on LMTV. Score! LMTV, LM students have an opportunity to work for executives to learn the basics of network design. LMTV's Patrick has the story. FBLA and SCORE, formerly known as the Service Corps of Retired Executives, are partnering up to show you the ins and outs of the business world. First meeting is at Albertan High School on November 6th. FBLA members and anyone else interested must sign up with Miss Lampy by this Friday. Transportation will be provided. Sarah, back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Seniors, our Hef Jones representative will be here tomorrow night from 4 to 6 in the door one foyer to take your graduation announcement orders. They will also be here on Friday during lunch. Please bring your completed order form and turn it to, Ms. Gre to Greta during these times listed. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Hi, I'm Jack Edemy. I interned last summer at the Cedar Rapids Science Center, and now I feel confident that management is what I want to pursue in college. Are you unsure about your future career? Check out Worst Pl Workplace Learning Connection Internships in CMS Sigma. Applications are due November 9th. Go to workplace-learning.org to find out more. Welcome back. A rep from the Art Institute of Chicago will be in Mrs. Zamolik's room tomorrow morning from 9.15 to 9.45. See an, any art teacher to get a pass and attend. Now Chase joins us with sports. Chase? In the wide world of Linmar sports, Linmar State Cross Country Champion Stephanie Jenks is a nominee for this week's KCRG Athlete of the Week. Voting can be done online or via text. Go to kcrg.com to find out more. Voting closes at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Attention, all female athletes, please clean out your lockers and remove your lock in the girls' locker room by next Tuesday to make room for the winter sports. If you do not clean it out by next Tuesday, it will be cleaned out for you. Those who signed up for boys' bowling, there will be a tryout Monday at the Cedar Rapids Bowling Center right after school. A bus will be provided. All bowlers must have an updated physical, good conduct form, concussion form, and medical card by this, and the athletic office by this Monday. Sophomore volleyball players need to turn in their jerseys by Friday. Also, girls soccer players, if you are thinking about joining the team, stop by Athletic Office to sign up today. That's sports. Back to you, Sarah. In news from the counselors, a rep from Clark University is in the counseling office this morning. The University of Dubuque will be in the counseling office this afternoon at 145 to talk to anyone who's interested in track and field. The University of Wisconsin at Platteville stops by tomorrow morning at 8.30. And Cronora College will be in the counseling office Thursday at 2 p.m. For more on internships, scholarships, and upcoming college visits, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now Zoe joins us with Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Sarah. On the Arts and Clubs scene, FBLA will be holding a general meeting tomorrow morning at 7.45 in the food court. Questions? Please see Mrs. Lampy. There will be a meeting for all thespians tomorrow after school in Mrs. Smith's room. They will be taking a picture for the yearbook. Please see Mrs. Smith or Hannah Seitz if you cannot attend. Boys t-shirt sales wrap up this week. If you are interested, order forms are right outside Mrs. Dayton's office and they, were, and they are due this Friday. Juniors and National Honor Society, listen up. Any juniors interested in taking a, on a leadership role for next year must meet in the food court Friday at 7.45 a.m. Just before the regular membership meeting this Friday at 8 a.m. Remember, the meetings are mandatory and you need to be on time. That's your club update. Sarah, back to you. Thanks, Zoe. Hey Chase, what's for lunch? Well, thanks for asking, Sarah. It's beef teriyaki and brown rice with green be beans, strawberries, and a whole grain dessert. The other lines will offer the yogurt bar, pizza, the salad bar, or a la carte items. The food court opens, pasta bar. That's lunch. Back to you, Sarah. Thanks, Chase. Sounds wonderful. It's another breezy day out there. We'll see sunny skies today with a high of 53. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny and, a 50 and 54, and Friday will be mostly sunny and 52. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. From the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day and get a bunch of candy, Linmar. <laughs>